We'll now take a look at some improvements to the Mate controller in SOLIDWORKS 2017. If we switch to SOLIDWORKS we have a pick and place robot and the components here have many degrees of freedom so we can start to drag these about. Now positioning these components can be a little bit difficult just from drag and drop. Therefore SOLIDWORKS introduced a tool called Mate Controller. So these components have been mated together with various uh, limit distance, limit angle mates and they've all been added in to the mate controller feature. The, the mates have also been renamed to make it a little bit more straightforward as to what's going on. So as I click through these mates, you'll see on the screen what has been mated together. Now within here, we also have mate positions. And as I click on the various mate positions, you'll see the mates here with a, a, a value associated to them. As I start toggling through them, you'll see that value change and the position of the components change on the screen as well. Now to create our own positions in here, it's just a simple case of either typing in a value or grabbing hold of the slider bars and adjusting them to suit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take the shoulder angle and I'm just going to reduce that to around about 30 degrees, like so. When I'm happy with the position, I just click on add position and then give it a name. I'll also add another uh, position. So all I'm going to do here is just adjust the finger angle like so. And then call that open grip. And then I'm going to go back to the home position and essentially duplicate that. So we'll call that return. Now, the reason that I duplicated the home position is because we can animate the steps and duplicating the home position will allow me to return to my original position. So you have the animation section within the property manager here. You have all the positions shown with a time next to them. So all I'm going to do is just adjust the times like so. And the time value there is how long it takes to transition from one position to the next position. Once we're happy with that, we can click calculate and it will just run through those various time steps. Now we can save that animation out as an AVI file, or alternatively, we can include it in the motion study. So if I launch my motion study, we can go to the animation wizard, and I can choose to import the items from my mate controller, and just choose the start time where I want this to occur. You'll see that as I do that, if we expand the mates folder out here, you'll see the keyframes created where the mates are changing, and if we just hit play, you'll see that it regenerates that animation within our motion study tool. One of the advantages of doing that is that we can use the other functionality within the motion study. For example, we can change our camera angle relative to our model, or we can choose to hide show components. In terms of what's new within this release, one of the things that people wanted to do with the Mate controller was to show the various positions within a drawing sheet. And there was no real easy way of doing this. You had to manually go through and generate the configurations and then reference those different configurations within a drawing sheet. Now, if we go into the Make Controller feature, we can go to a specific position and we have a new button here called Add Configuration. So if I click on that, it will just create the configuration for me like so. We'll do another one here for Pickup. And then finally, we'll have open grip. If we look at our configuration manager here, we have those three configurations generated for us. And if we open up our drawing, you can see we can take these and just reference the configurations that we want to show.
So to summarize what we've seen there, we can create positions for complicated assemblies. We have a simple slider bar adjustment. It's easy to switch between our positions. Animations can be created or outputted to a SOLIDWORKS motion study. We can now create configurations per position. That's a 2017 update. And in general, it's great for drawing views or assemblies. Thank <music> you.